Have you ever borrowed money from someone and they told you that you never have to pay them back? Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah, it doesn't happen very often either. Uh, Jeremy here at the Greenhouse Group, and today I want to revisit a position I had on reverse mortgages. Uh, of late, I had a client approach me and ask me to take a look into these again for them. And traditionally, I've been absolutely against them. And uh, the reason is that interest uh, is structured in a way that it's cumulative or compounding. And that is in opposition to a standard mortgage, which is simple interest. Um, and so it's always had this kind of gut feeling for me, like it's just not good ever. And if there's any way to avoid it, do so. Now, I still hold the position that there are many different options that I think uh, are uh, alternatives that you should consider when considering a reverse mortgage, because there are cheaper ways to go about this. But I've now switched my position and I feel strongly that there are certain situations where this is absolutely appropriate and even really good for folks. For example, uh, if you have your home as your primary asset, you have a little bit of money on the side that's going to take care of your living expenses long term. And the home, while it's an asset and has equity, is not really realized yet. And so the way to realize that is to pull that money down. Now, what happens if you can't get a traditional loan? That money is essentially locked into your home. And so a reverse mortgage can help access that. So I wrote a little bit about that below in the blog. Um, and you can explore that a little more in detail if you find it applicable. If you'd like to learn more about not only what reverse mortgages might look like for you, but the alternatives that I think need to be explored when doing so, uh, click below on my name. You can send me an email with the title reverse mortgage or alternatives in the subject line and we'll make sure we get you some more information. Have a great week.